So we want to do the line follower program now. And the first thing we want to do is rem remember when we did uh, is it blue um, or when we did the line um, finder that we have to go into, I'm going to show you, we're going to go over over one and then we have the port view so let's see if we can get that in there so we hit the port view we're going to click on that and then we want to find our uh, bottom to the left let's see and then we have uh, right here in the bottom part we have our um, we can click on this and we could determine if we want to do our um, color or if we want to do our reflected color or the ambient color. So we got selected right here. We have our reflected color. And we're going to want to select that one. And right now it's zero. So that number, we'll put it down. We'll see. When we have it on the floor, uh, we have 44%. Uh, um, 48 percent and that's the reflected light we got to make sure that we have this nice nice and close to the floor not too close because we want the light to bounce off the floor and be reflected back up so we have uh, around 45 to 50 um, for the regular floor area with this robot every robot might have different numbers depending on how far away your um, sensor is from the floor and you charge your battery, um, how much light that sensor is giving off. Um, we put it on the black line and we get eight or six. And then you could go onto the sides um, and you can get like 30, 23, 33, uh, depending on uh, if it's just on the side here. Right? So in the center we have six. Uh, we did this before. If you put it on the red line, you get like 44. Um, so I have 48 uh, right here on this part of the floor. So what we're going to want to do is we want this to follow this line. And we have to take our largest number, which right here is 48. And we want to take our smallest number on the dark, which is actually 5 right here. Um, and we want to find uh, numbers in between. So it has to be greater than 5 and uh, less than 48 or 45 depending on whatever numbers you have here and you're going to want it to change back and forth so now that we have these numbers uh, we can go ahead and we can um, write our program and use these numbers uh, to figure out um, our variables of when it wants to go left and when it wants to go right what uh, reflective um, percent percentages numbers we use to do that so let's go uh, run our programs and then and then once we get the programs we'll come back and run this on the floor now on page 70 of our uh, book we have in chapter 6 we have the line follower program all right we're going to you can create a uh, circle or a figure eight uh, all we have is a line uh, made up with electrical tape on the floor uh, we want to make sure that we have uh, our color sensor, our light sensor, attached to the robot correctly, to the EV3. And uh, the first thing that we're going to start, we're going to create a new um, program called Line Follower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a new, new program. And since I already have a line follow. I'm going to just call this one line follower too. So file, uh, save project as line follower. Uh, call it tutor. All right. Let's look at our directions. Okay. So we're going to add a loop block. So we come over here, and the first thing we do is we're going to pull in a loop block, and we're going to put that in there. And then we're going to drag a switch block into the loop block. So 
switch block. I'm going to put it into it. And we want this to be for the color sensor. And um, we want this on compare. Or I'm sorry. We want this on compare. Uh, reflected light intensity. And um, we want to have less than uh, a certain amount of light. So we want to... We want to get our, um, we want to make sure we know what our threshold is. And um, what we did was when it was dark, uh, we had a number of five. And when it was light on the floor, we had a number of uh, 45. So we're going to take our calculator. It's all explained right here. We're going to take our calculator. And we're going to take uh, the average, 45 plus 5 divided by 2 equals 25. So our threshold number that we're going to want is going to be 25. <clears throat> That's going to be a, a number right in the middle. Um, next... want to add a, a move steering block in each section. Move steering block. And we want this just to be on. And we're going to want this to turn uh, 30, negative 30. And we're just going to keep it slow. We can have it any speed we want, but to test it, we want to have a nice slow speed for it. And we're going to take a move steering block here. We're going to turn this on. We're going to have this go 30 in the opposite direction. And move this down to 30, or 25, I'm sorry. And that's it. This is our, our this is our line follower program. <clears throat> Very simple. It has two choices. All right? If uh if it's less than uh 25 reflective gradient, it'll turn to the left. If it's more, it'll turn to the right. Uh and it'll just keep going back and forth and follow the line in that way. And that's all you really need to do for a simple line follower. So let's uh see what we have next, we can we can test this, put it on the line and test it and see if it works okay. Line follower, all right? And I will put this on here and we'll notice that we just have two options on this one. So we'll go ahead and do that. And you'll see uh, it goes back and forth between those numbers that we picked um, and it just follows the line. And this could be a circle, this could be all kinds of things that we have going on here. So that was looking at our line follower, which is two choices. Uh, now we want to try and uh, give it a three choices. So we're going to give it, um, it can go left, it can go right, or it can go straight. So in order to do that, we need to figure out um, our numbers a little better. So what we had here was we had, when it was when it was totally on the floor, we had an, uh, a percentage of 45 reading and um, at this point with our robot now your robot might be different uh, we had 23 and for this uh, robot we had 15 and for this reading we had nine and when it's totally on the uh, black we had like five or six as reading so those numbers again we had 45 23 15 9 and 5 so we're going to basically use our same um, our same program that we had, but we're going to modify it. So let's go ahead and um, what we're going to do is we're going to put a switch block right in there, and then we're going to move uh, this guy here, and then we're going to get a new uh, steering block. And we're going to have it on, and we'll move this down to 25. 
just for our practice. You can have this at any at any number you want. We're going to have it go straight. Uh, this, we're going to want to use our color sensor to compare reflective light. And for this one, um, we're going to want to change these numbers. So if you look, what it tells us here is uh, it has the numbers uh, 45 and 50. So what we want is we want uh, this number to be comparable to um, somewhere around here. So they had 48. Uh, our number for that was 15. So uh, 15 is a good number for this. And then uh, our number over here uh, was 45. So we want something, and this was this was 23. We want something uh, greater than 23, less than 45. We want to give it as much range as possible. So we can go with um, for for our robot. We can go with uh, 15 here, and we can go with uh, 40 or um, 37. So so basically, we want to make sure that um, our our black line is around five or six. Now this could actually be uh, ten if we want to be really specific, or it could be twelve. It just has to be a number that's greater than um, what our our readings are, our highest readings, which could be six. Maybe it's eight or nine, um, depending on it. So ten, twelve, fifteen. Those are all good numbers, so that when we have this. Uh, being less than, it turns uh, left. And this number, we go up to 45. So if it's between 12 and 37, it should go straight. Uh, and if it's, if it's less than 37, oh wait, no, if, it'll go straight if it's less than 37. Um, it'll, it'll turn right if it's greater than um, 37. So all numbers between 12 and 37 go straight, and anything greater than 37 will turn right. So as it goes, if this is less than 12, it goes up. This is less than 37, it goes up. And if it's greater than that, or if it's not less than 37, it turns right. So this gives us our uh, choices. So we can run this program, and you'll see that um, it'll go left. If it's close to the middle of the line area, um, if it's if it's around in this range, it'll go straight while it's in this range. If it's over here, it'll turn uh, towards the black line, and if it's over here, it'll turn towards the floor. Um, but while it's in this range, it'll continue to go straight. So that gives it three choices. So we have that sitting right there. We look at that. Um, and go ahead and test that out. All right, so now let's look at if we have uh, three options now where it will go um, straight if the number's in the middle and then it'll go to the right or left depending on it. So we'll put that there. All right, so it goes left, right. It's going straight right now. And then it changes the number, the variable, greater than or less than. It's going straight right now. Then it's turning, turning, and it's going straight. So we can see a little bit better. We have three choices now. It can go left, right, or straight, depending on uh, what percentage of reflective light the sensor gets.